main thing. Now, this is why we are needed. Listen, listen, my Jamaican television viewer. We are needed in Jamaica. Amen. I said the truth of God is needed in Jamaica. Amen. To straighten out everything else that have deviated from the book. Amen. All the bishops, all the homemade apostles, all the women preachers. You're looking at me now, woman. Yes, you are. That's right. Yes, you are. You got your lipstick on now, drinking your Jamaican rum. Amen. That's right. Getting ready to go to your Pentecostal church so you can scream to the people on Sunday morning. Amen. I've been in Jamaica flipping through the television. I saw you Jamaican women claim your preachers all on television, hollering, Amen. screaming. That's right. And you poor excuse of handicapped men Amen. sitting there being led by women. That's right. Amen. Amen. So I said, a woman must have done something to you mighty bad in life. <laughs> That's right. No, not at all. Amen. We believe that men should have their prospective place in the earth by God's law. That's right. We believe that women should have their prospective place in the earth by God's law. That's right. Amen. All right, come on, Dan. This letter is from, uh, is on the subject of women ministers. All right. It said in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew chapter 27 and verse 56, it references women teaching. It does. That's what they say. Matthew what? Matthew 27 and verse 56. All right, let's get the scripture that they pitched at me. I want to dive into it and strip it bare. Amen. Let's see what can we pull out of there. They say Jesus made reference to women ministers. Teaching. Women teaching. Teaching. What else the letter say? Have you taken this subject out of context? All right, let's see the context of it. Let's see what it consists of. Come on, William. Matthew 27, we'll begin at verse 55. All right. And many women were there beholding a far off. Yes. Which followed Jesus from Galilee, <laughs> ministering unto him. Many mm. men. Take your time. Many women were doing what? Ministering unto him. Preaching. They were following him, doing what? Ministering unto him. <laughs> Now, <laughs> let's break this down. Viewer, who do you think Jesus needed to teach him? My Lord. The book plainly states Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. All things. That's right. That's right. Amen. So why would you think Jesus need ministers or women to teach him. Yes, they ministered unto him. But how? Ah, that's right. Your problem is you lack the term ministry, the meaning of the term. Right. Now, I have a host of secretaries through America mm -hmm. and foreign countries. Mm -hmm. That minister unto me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right? I said. That's right. But not one preach That's it. unto me. That's right. What do you mean, minister? Minister simply means to serve, to help. That's right. Help those women. Let me show you what it means. Come on, Williams. In Philippians chapter four, and are, are you ready, script? Ready. Listen to what the book says. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. What is it? And I entreat thee also. How? True yoke fellow. What did brother Paul say? Help those women. Help those women. Which help, help those women. Help, help those women. Those women. Which labored with me. Which labor with me. In the gospel. You see these women here? All of them labor with me. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. Certainly. That's right. right. Some are doctors. Amen. Some are lawyers. That's right. Amen. Some are accountants. That's right. Some are teachers. That's right. But none of them are God sent, God anointed, God instructed preachers. That's right. Why? That's right. God said, out of the mouth of Apostle Paul mm -hmm. in the 14th chapter of Corinthians, Corinthians, Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of a Pharisee, a doctor of the law named Gamelia, who right. taught Paul, according to the perfect manner of the law, the ways of Musa or the ways of Moses. But on his journey to Damascus, wisdom came down from heaven in the form of a light and stopped him and asked him, why are you persecuting me? That's right. He asked God, who are you? He said, I am Jesus whom thine persecuted. So he was led to a street called Straight 
and there was a man named Ananias, a disciple and a believer of God, down there waiting to baptize Paul. Oh, yeah. Then when Paul received the Holy Ghost, he went straightway preaching that Jesus was the Christ right. because the light that came to him gave him the intelligence and the characteristics of God. That's right. Yeah. So now Paul, being a divine God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed, God made, God taught, heavenly appointed and heavenly authorized Go ahead. apostle, Go ahead. an ambassador to have permission to represent all heaven. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's right. He was an ambassador with the ability right. and divine permission Amen. to represent all heaven. That's, That's right. right. Angels were forbidden to contradict the man Paul. That's Amen. right. Jabril and Michael and Raphael were forbidden to contradict the message that God gave Paul. That's Amen. right. So now Paul stops down in Corinth Amen. in the midst of a journey and an epistle is written here. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 34. Listen, begin at verse 33. At verse 33. What is it? For God is not the author God of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. But of peace. But of peace, meaning, but of cooperation. That, that, that's what that means. That's right. Amen. See, when he said, but of peace in all the churches, cooperation right. introduces peace. That's, that's right. right. Listen at this. For God is not the author of confusion. But what? But of peace. But of cooperation. As in all churches of the saints. And all churches of the saints. That your women. All right, all right, all right. Let your women. Keep silent. Keep silent. In the churches. In the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Now hold it. Amen. It isn't talking about praying. No. Hannah prayed. That's right. And Brother Eli thought she was drunk. That's, That's right. right. Because he saw her mouth moving. That's right. But didn't hear no sound. No That's right. It isn't talking about prophesying. Yes, sir. Amen. For Deborah and Anna were prophetess. That's right. That's right. It isn't talking about being in position of politics. No. That's right. Because Sheba was a political figure. That's right. If you were queen, you was a political figure because you had ruled over a kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. Glory That's to God. Right. Amen. Right. It isn't talking about bearing witness to the truth. Amen. For the Bible says, say amen to the, the truth. truth. That's amen. right. Amen. It isn't talking about praying. For the book teaches us, be instant in prayer. It isn't right. talking about singing. Go ahead, That's right. Go ahead. So now you got to find out what is it what is it that god amen advises that's right. the woman amen. to be silent about that's right he's silent in reference to the women teaching, teaching. in the form that's right sir. of usurping authority over the man and trying to break down scriptural law to god's people that's right why do i use the term in the form Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Amen. Then give me the third chapter of the book of Titus. That's right. Or rather the second chapter second of the chapter. book of Titus. I want to balance out the women can teach Wonderful. and I want to balance out they can't teach. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 12. Listen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. All right, woman. Amen. If you can preach, mm -hmm. what title can you hold? That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you be a bishop? Amen. The Bible said a man, man. that desired the office of a bishop, That's right. he desired the office of a good work. That's That's right. Right. He must be the husband of one wife. He didn't save the wife of one husband. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Can you be a female deacon? It is no such thing as a deaconess. That's right. But it is such thing as a female mess. That's right. But not a deaconess. Amen. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. That's right. Amen. Can you be an elder? Nope. You cannot be an elder and preach the gospel. No. You don't have no female elders preaching the gospel in the book. That's right. right. Can you be a prophet? No. no. A prophet is a man. man. A prophetess True. is a woman. So yes, you can be a prophetess, right. which is given to a woman to prophesy. That's right. What is 
prophecy. Prophecy is when a woman is divinely moved by the God of creation to foretell an event that's going to come in a city or a town or a village or to a person or to a people. That's right. And when she prophesied or relate that divine message given to her by God himself, she relate that message. She's not breaking down the scriptures. She's not itemizing God's law. She come by God's permission to give you prophecy. Thus saith the Lord, you shall die in the year 2010. And she sits down. That's right. That's right. But when she get up, I want the years for a text today. Amen. <laughs> oh, how David has slain the giant Goliath. That's right. That's right, sir. All you Go see, ahead, ahead. That's what right. the Lord. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Go ahead, Paul. Let's keep it scriptural. That's, That's right. right. So this gang of women that you refer to in the book uh -huh. who follow Jesus, Amen. name one, name one. Preacher. Jesus declared that was a preacher. That's right. Now let me give you revelation and make you think of something that none of you preachers ever thought of who believe in women preachers. Amen. To prove to you that there was no women preachers in Jesus' day. Go ahead. Because the only area of ministry That's right. that was available, mm -hmm. who Jesus was making, were apostles. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's the only office That's right. that he was making That's right. during his time of ministry. That's right. Where our apostles, prophets, was already here. That's right. Amen. Before the Messiah walked earth. That's right. Because the prophets right. represent the former house. That's right. So he had to establish the latter house. That's Amen. right. In order for the prophet Haggai words to be exact, that the latter house shall be greater than the former house. So the substance of the former house was for the prophets, they were here. Go ahead. That's right. That's Amen. why Jesus bared title prophet and apostle that's, that's right, right. Both. because he represents the end that's right hey, brother of the former house Amen. and represent the beginning right. of the latter house Amen. That's right. do you understand that's right wonderful. Amen. wonderful god never called never never had never, had. never will Call and send a woman to preach the gospel. Amen. If your mama is a woman preacher, Amen. your mama is a liar. That's right. If your grandmama is a woman preacher, That's right. your grandmama is a liar. Amen. Hey, hey, bishop, hey, bishop, elder, if your wife, if she's your assistant pastor or preacher, Amen. then your wife, you're sleeping with a liar. That's right. That's right. Why you listen to the old man? That's right. Go ahead. That's the truth. Do you hear what the book says? But I suffer not a woman to teach. What else? Nor to usurp authority over the man. But what? But to be in silence. But why? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Then? And Adam was not deceived. But what? But the woman being deceived was in the trance. All right, now, let me show you where the scriptures give women permission to teach and who they are allowed to teach. Amen. In the book of Titus chapter 2, beginning at verse 3. Give chapter and verse again. Titus chapter 2, and we'll begin at verse All right, my television viewers, I want you to get this and look at it good. I have dealt with this subject. I get thousands of letters about this one subject. Amen. Someone said, why you always deal with it? Because you women ain't got sense enough to sit down. That's right. Huh? That's right. As long as you're up, I got to pull the word down. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah. Come on, son. Let's have it. Titus chapter 2 and at verse 3. Women preachers and remarriage and divorce are one of the two largest subjects in the world. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I got some women following me now that were women preachers. Right. But they were resurrected. Right. Came out the pulpit. That's right. Now, besides trying to preach from the Bible, they come and follow us in the Bible. Amen. All right, viewer, viewer, get your, get your Bible. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. That goes for you too, woman. That's right. Get your Bible. Don't let your bacon burn. Amen. All right. Come on, Dan. This letter is from uh, is on the subject of women ministers. All right. It said in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-seven, and verse fifty-six, it references women teaching. It does. That's what they say. Matthew what? Matthew twenty-seven and verse fifty-six. All right. Let's get the scripture that they pitched at me. I want to dive into it and strip it bare. Matthew. See what can we pull out of there? They say Jesus made reference to women 
Ministers? Ministers. Teacher. Women teaching? Teacher. What else the letter say? Have you taken this subject out of context? All right, let's see the context of it. Let's see what it consists of. Come on, William. Yeah. Matthew 27, we'll begin at verse 55. All right. And many women were there beholding a far off. Yes. Which followed Jesus from Galilee, <laughs> ministering unto him. Mm. Many men. Take your time. Many women were doing what? Ministering unto him. Preaching. They were following him, doing what? Ministering unto him. Now, <laughs> let's break this down. Viewer, who do you think Jesus needed to teach him? My Lord. The book plainly states Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. All things. That's right. That's right. Amen. So why would you think Jesus need ministers or women to teach him? Yes, they ministered unto him. But how? Ah, that's right. Your problem is you lack the term ministry, the meaning of the term. Right. Now, I have a host of secretaries through America and foreign countries. Amen. That minister unto me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. But not one preach That's right. unto me. That's right. What do you mean, minister? Minister simply means to serve, to help. That's right. Help those women. Let me show you what it means. Come on, Williams. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. Are you ready, script? I'm ready. Listen to what the book says. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. What is it? And I entreat thee also. How? True yoke fellow. What did Brother Paul say? Help those women. Help those women. Which help, help those women. Help, help those women. Those women. Which labored with me. Which labor with me. In the gospel. You see these women here? All of them labor with me. That's right. That's right. Good. Certainly. That's right. right. Some are doctors. Amen. Some are lawyers. That's right. Amen. Some are accountants. That's right. That's right. Some are teachers. That's right. That's right. But none of them are God sent, God anointed, God instructed preachers. That's right. Why? That's right. God said, out of the mouth of Apostle Paul mm -hmm. in the 14th chapter of Corinthians. Corinthians. Paul, born in Tarsus, in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of a Pharisee, a doctor of the law named Gadmelia, who right. taught Paul, according to the perfect manner of the law, the ways of Musa, or the ways of Moses. But on his journey to Damascus, wisdom came down from heaven in the form of a light and stopped him and asked him, why are you persecuting me? That's right. He asked God, who are you? He said, I am Jesus, whom thine persecuted. Mm -hmm. So he was led to a street called Straight, and there was a man named Ananias, a disciple and a believer of God, down there waiting to baptize Paul. Oh, yeah. Then when Paul received the Holy Ghost, he went straightway preaching that Jesus was the Christ, right. because the light that came to him gave him the intelligence and the characteristics of God. That's right. Yeah. So now Paul, being a divine, God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed, God made, God taught, heavenly appointed and heavenly authorized, Go ahead. apostle, Go ahead. an ambassador to have permission to represent all heaven. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's right. He was an ambassador with the ability That's and right. divine permission Amen. to represent all heaven. That's, That's right. right. Angels were forbidden to contradict the man Paul. That's Amen. right. Jabril and Michael and Raphael were forbidden to contradict the message that God gave Paul. That's Amen. right. So now Paul stops down in Corinth Amen. in the midst of a journey, and an epistle is written here. First Corinthians 14 and verse 34. Listen, begin at verse 33. At verse 33. What is it? For God is not the author God of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. But of peace. But of peace, meaning, but of cooperation. That, that's, right. that's what that means. That's right. Amen. See, when he said, but of peace in all the churches, cooperation right. introduces that's peace. Right. That's right. Listen at this. For God is not the author of confusion. But what? But of peace. But of cooperation. As in all churches of the saints. And all churches of the saints. Let your all right, all right, all right. Let 
metro women keep silent keep silent in the churches in the churches for it is not permitted unto them to speak now hold it amen it isn't talking about praying no. Hannah prayed that's right and brother Eli thought she was drunk that's, that's right. right because he saw her mouth moving that's right but didn't hear no sound no that's right it isn't talking about prophesying yes, sir. for Deborah and Anna were prophetess that's right, that's right. It isn't talking about being in position of politics. No. That's right. Because Sheba was a political figure. That's right. If you were queen, you was a political figure because you had ruled over a kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. Glory to God. Amen. Right. It isn't talking about bearing witness to the truth. Amen. For the Bible says, say amen to the, the truth. truth. That's right. Amen. It isn't talking about praying for the book teaches us be instant in prayer. It isn't right. talking about singing. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. So now you got to find out what is it what is it that god amen advises that's right. the woman amen. to be silent about that's right he's silent in reference to the women teaching, teaching. in the form that's right sir. of you suffering authority over the man and trying to break down scriptural law to god's people that's right why do i use the term in the form Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Amen. They give me the third chapter of the book of Titus. That's right. Or rather the second chapter second of chapter. the book of Titus. I want to balance out the women can teach Wonderful. and I want to balance out they can't teach. 1 Timothy Wonderful. chapter 2 and at verse 12. Listen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. All right, woman. Amen. If you can preach, mm -hmm. what title can you hold? That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you be a bishop? Amen. The Bible said a man Amen. that desired the office of a bishop, That's right. he desired the office of a good work. That's That's right. Right. He must be the husband of one wife. He didn't save the wife of one husband. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Can you be a female deacon? It is no such thing as a deaconess. That's right. But it is such thing as a female mess. That's right. But not a deaconess. Amen. That's right. Are right, you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. That's right. Amen. Ahead, Can you be an elder? Nope. You cannot be an elder and preach the gospel. No. Amen. No. You don't have no female elders preaching the gospel in the book. That's right. right. Can you be a prophet? No. no. A prophet is a man, man. a prophetess is a woman so yes you can be a prophetess right. which is given to a woman to prophesy that's right what is prophecy prophecy is when a woman is divinely moved by the god of creation to foretell an event that's going to come in a city or a town or a village or to a person or to a people that's right and when she prophesy or relate that divine message given to her right. by god himself she relate that message she She's not breaking down the scriptures. That's She's right. not atomizing God's law. Right. She come by God's permission to give you prophecy. Right. Thus saith the Lord, you shall die in the year 2010. And she sits down. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Sir. But when she get up, mm -hmm. I want to use for a text today. Amen. <laughs> oh, how David has slain the giant Goliath. That's right. That's right, sir. All you go see, ahead, That's what right. the Lord, Amen. am I right? Amen. Go ahead, folks. Let's keep it scriptural. That's, That's right. right. So this gang of women that you refer to in the book, uh -huh. who follow Jesus, Amen. name one. Name one. Preacher. Jesus declared that was a preacher. That's right. Now let me give you revelation and make you think of something that none of you preachers ever thought of who believe in women preachers. Amen. To prove to you that there was no women preachers in Jesus' day. Go ahead. Because the only area of ministry That's right. that was available mm -hmm. who Jesus was making were apostles. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Are you listening? That's Amen. right. That's the only office That's right. that he was making That's right. during his time of ministry. That's right. Where apostles, prophets, 
was already here. That's right. Amen. Before the Messiah walked earth. That's right. Because the prophets right. represent the former house. That's right. So he had to establish the latter house. That's right. In order for the prophet Haggai words to be exact, that the latter house shall be greater than the former house. So the substance of the former house was for the prophets, they were here. That's right. That's Amen. why Jesus bear title prophet and apostle. That's right. That's right. Both. Because he represent the end. That's right. Hey, brother. Of the former house. Amen. And represent the beginning right. of the latter house. Amen. Right. Do you understand? That's Amen. right. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. God never called. Never. Never had. Amen. Never will. Call and send a woman to preach the gospel. Amen. If your mama is a woman preacher, Amen. your mama is a liar. That's right. If your grandmama is a woman preacher, That's right. your grandmama is a liar. Amen. Hey, hey, bishop, hey, bishop, elder, if your wife, if she's your assistant pastor or a preacher, Amen. then your wife, you're sleeping with a liar. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Go ahead. That's the truth. Do you hear what the book says? But I suffer not a woman to teach. What else? Nor to usurp authority over the man. But what? But to be in silence. But why? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Then? And Adam was not deceived. But what? But the woman being deceived was in the trance. All right, now, let me show you where the scriptures give women permission to teach and who they are allowed to teach. Amen. In the book of Titus chapter 2, beginning Be at verse 3. Give chapter and verse again. Titus chapter 2. And we'll begin at verse... All right, my television viewers, I want you to get this and look at it good. I have dealt with this subject. I get thousands of letters about this one subject. Amen. Someone said, why you always deal with it? Because you women ain't got sense enough to sit down. That's right. Huh? That's right. As long as you're up, I got to pull the word down. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah. Come on, son, let's have it. Titus chapter 2 and at verse 3. Women preachers and remarriage and divorce are one of the two largest subjects in the world. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I got some women following me now that were women preachers. That's right. But they were resurrected. Right. Came out the pulpit. That's right. Now, besides trying to preach from the Bible, they come and follow us in the Bible. Amen. All right, viewer, viewer, get your, get your Bible. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. That goes for you too, woman. That's right. Get your Bible. Don't let your bacon burn now. Turn your, turn your, Turn your pan down. That's turn right. it down. God, turn your pan down now. Just get your Bible. Right. Come up to the kitchen table and sit and follow me. That's it. You got your Bible? Yeah, man. Titus chapter 2. Yeah, I'll give you time. Go ahead. Titus chapter 2. We'll begin at verse 3. Come on, Will. The aged women likewise. Aged women. Older women. Mothers. That's right. Yes, in God. The Elect ladies, if Amen. you will. Amen. All right. The aged women likewise, uh -huh. that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Now, holiness is a lifestyle. Yes, sir. Amen. God demands that you behave holiness in a holy manner. That's right. All right. Not false accusers. Not going around making false accusations. Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much. Too much wine. Too much wine. Too much wine. Now we got to find, when it says too much, too much, that gives space where she can have some. That's, That's right. right. But now I just can't leave it just like that. No, no, no. no. I can't leave it like that now. No way. Right. I, did you hear what I said? No. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because see, if I let the brother keep reading, one of you nick picking viewers would say, oh, what about the too much? Yeah. What about the too much? I'm done down down. I got an aged woman now looking at me with the bottle. That's right. That's you, right. you ain't touched that passage, Janice. All right, Grandma, and I'm about to get it right now. Right now, amen. Right now. Right now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, glory to God. Amen. When the book says, Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much wine. You got to find where in scriptural law right. is wine permitted. That's That's right. Now, That's right. wine is permitted when we serve the Lord's Supper. That's why the Bible said they sup. They ain't walking around just drinking up everything. Oh, they Sup. That's right. Now, the other place in the Bible, in the book of Timothy, where wine is permitted, the book says, for your stomach's sake. That's right. Is that right? That's right. right. That's what the Bible teaches. First Timothy That's chapter 5 and verse 23. First Timothy 5, 23 says, Drink no longer water. Drink no longer water. But use a little wine. How much? A little wine. A fifth. A little wine. A quart. A little wine. A gallon. A little wine. A glass full. A little wine. A whole can of booze. A little wine. Amen. All right, Grandma, put your bottle down. That's right. That's right. Amen. Do you hear what the Bible says? But use a little wine. For what? For thy stomach's sake. Why? And thy often infirmity. So, my television viewer, 
That's the time where God permits the woman to use wine for her stomach's sake and her often infirmity, but she must fall under the scriptural text of a little. Little, that's right. That's right. Now, when you find yourself sweating until wine is coming out of your pores, you have went beyond a little. That's right. When you find yourself getting hazy and daisy and glazy, That's right. you have used more than a little. That's yeah. right. Oh, you get what I'm telling you? Amen. All right, come on, Williams. Let's go now and finish up. Back in Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. I want to show you where women are allowed to teach and who they should teach. That's not, not given to much wine. Yes. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things, but who are they allowed to teach? That they may teach the young women. Now, mothers, mm -hmm. the old, experienced, God-fearing, righteous mother. Amen. Teach the young women what? That they may teach the young women to be sober. You didn't say teach the whole church. No, no, sir. No. No, no. no, sir. Teach the young women how to be sober, Amen. how to be stable-minded. That's right. Have a foundation in your mind. That's right. You're not unstable so easy. You're not so mentally flexible Amen. until you don't jump at every two-legged dog that cross your path. That's right. You have some stability. You know how to be focused. That's right. You can't be lured with a dollar or lured with a good car or lured with a good grade of hair. That's right. You have some sober. stability. Amen. Right. You are sober. Sober. Come on, sir. To love their husband. Love your husband if you got one. That's right. If you got one, love him. Treat him good. Right. Respect right. them. Amen. And at the same time, husband, you respect her if you want respect in return. That's right. Listen. To love their children. Love your children. When the aged woman is teaching the sister how to love her children, the teaching of disciplining your children also come into play. That's right. So you teach how to love your children, how to discipline your children. And woman, if your husband discipline your children, don't you come to defend your children and you know your children is wrong. That's right. If you right. disagree with your husband's methodology of discipline, don't ever bring your grievance to your husband in the presence of your children because all you do is teach your child confusion and now you're teaching them how to take sides. That's right. So you settle your grievances or your disagreement in the way your husband have chastised the child out of the presence of the children. That's right. Listen. To be discreet. Teach the young girl how to be discreet. Amen. How to conduct, be discreet. Want to be no loud, boisterous, crazy woman. That's right. How to be discreet, be ladylike. Not masculine. Amen. Most of these things they claim their woman preacher act like a man. That's right. Walk like a man, act like a man, talk like a man. That's right. That's right. You would think they came from uh, Dykesville. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I say you I think they came from Dykesville. That's right. See, so you, you got you got Danville, you got many places, uh, Holmesville, Flower Town, and all that. But uh, you got a place, uh, Dykesville. Amen. You understand? That's right. And, and in Dykesville, go ahead, go ahead. Brother. Men act like, or rather, women act like men. Amen. And now let me tell you something. And if you look at this spirit that's in women preachers, they masculine like men. And most of them husbands are henpecks. Amen. Man ain't got a voice in his house and he ain't got a voice at church. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I say he don't have a voice. Listen, a yeah. man that's a real man and you're going to walk around and don't have a voice in your house, Amen. you're not a man. That's right. Right. Amen. Now, when I say have a voice in your house, that don't mean your wife can't say nothing. That's right. Bring it on, and bro. that don't mean that give you the right to cuss your wife out. Yeah. And that don't give you the right to physically abuse your wife. Yeah. That's, right. that's not what makes you a man. That's right. If your criteria of a man is slapping your wife, beating your wife, kicking your wife, cussing your wife out, you don't know what a man is. In yeah. fact, you are less yeah. than a man. That's right. That's right. Even if you pay all the bills, That's right. you're still less than a man. Yeah. Because there's more in life than bill paying. That's right. Amen. Am I right, I said? Um, Come on, Williams. Yeah. To be discreet. To be discreet. Chase. Chase. Keepers at home. She know how to keep her house in order. That's right. You don't right. raise daughters to try to be their big sister. You raise a daughter and be that girl's mother. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. You don't allow your daughters to give you word for word, mouth to mouth. Amen. You young daughters, you're not born into the world to live under your mother and father roof to tell them when you're going to do anything. That's you right. ask, yeah. can I have company? That's right. Can I 
go to the store. That's right. Can I Amen. go to the mall? Amen. Can, I Can I talk to her? Amen. No, you cannot talk to him. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Amen. My God, I can take that to a whole other telecast. Oh, yeah. Come on, Williams. Keepers at home. Know how to keep your house in order. That's good. Right. What? Good. Be a good woman. That's right. Good women are just as easy to come by as it is a cat that wear a derby and perform for the burlesque show. That's right, man. That's right. That's right. Hard to find a good woman. That's a, that's a rare jewel. That's oh, right. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's like digging in the earth for a thousand years to find a particular size diamond. That's, that's right. right. A good woman is not a materialist. That's she right. don't love you when you just have money. That's, that's right. right. She loves you from the heart when the love is legit. That's okay. right. If you never have money, she's Amen. not a materialist. She's not always begging you, when you gonna give me this? When you gonna give me that? When you gonna give me the other? That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Good woman don't mind doing for a good man. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. But good man know how to treat the good woman. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Amen. That's Listen. Right. Obedient to their own husband. Obey your own husband. That's, That's right. right. Obey your own husband. Sometimes men have a complaint that their wives are hard head. How are you treating her? That's right, yeah. right. How are you treating her? That's right, man. Are you causing her to be a rebel? That's right. Are you creating rebellion in your own house? That's right. Amen. How are you treating the woman? That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You slap the woman, she gonna start slapping back. That's right. right. You push the woman, she gonna start pushing and kicking back. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. There's no maybe so about it. That's right. You intimidate the woman, you keep it up, she gonna wake up from that intimidation and start trying to intimidate back. Oh That's yeah. Right. I would not be slapping and kicking the woman that cooked my food. No That's way. Right. No, sir. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. I will not That's right. be smacking and kicking the woman who's going to prepare my food. That's right. No. Sir. No. 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 That's not, That's not intelligent. That's, That's right. right. That's not intelligent. That's right. Why use a fool right. and a good fool? Amen. Amen. Come on, Will. Obedient to their own husband. Now, this is what the aged mothers teach the young sisters how to do these things mm -hmm. that the word of God be not blasphemed. That's it. So the scripture that you read and brother read in the book of Matthew, mm -hmm. where the women that followed Jesus minister, this simply means they served. That's right. I show you a woman in the Bible that served Jesus when she washed her feet and wiped it with her hair. With her hair, right. that's right. She was ministering to him. That's right. Huh? She right. was ministering because the apostles was ready to jump on her. Jump on right. But they wasn't going to jump on her because she was preaching. No, no. They was jumping on her because they felt as though the oil she was using was yeah. wasteful. That's, That's right. right. That's what that was. That's, That's right. right. But she was ministering unto Jesus. That's, That's right. right. She served him. Served him. That's all.